work in. I uh, got a little chippy for a little while, but you know, it's football. Uh, both teams were professional. And uh, I like the way we performed today in certain situations, but uh, you know, there was too many flags on the ground. But good work, good work. It's always a pleasure to, to go up against a team like the Saints. You know, they're one of the better teams in the NFC and uh, they had an outstanding coaching staff. So it, the coaches are challenged, players are challenged, everyone's challenged. So I think we got better today. Well, if you, if you want to evaluate yourself and, and, and see where you're at, you know, it's, it's good competition. And uh, that's what I tell the guys. Coach, why is Keenan Allen not practicing today? He was, he was a little sore. Yep. Nothing serious? No. Who was that, Keenan? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure if, I'm sure if he was playing on Sunday, he'd be, yeah, I'm sure he would. Uh, we, we hadn't talked about, you know, who's playing, who's not playing yet, but um, we'll see. I love the situation with football, you know, because that, that's, that's how you play the game in situations. And, and I like to see our schemes, our philosophy against other people's. And we've gone up against two pretty good organizations. And so uh, we've had a good chance to look at some things that we're doing and make some adjustments. Does it feel like you guys are kind of building off, you know, what you guys have, you know, built here in the last couple of years? You know, I think every year is a different year. You know, uh, once we start playing real football games, we'll see exactly where we're at. And if you look at our schedule early on, we're going to be challenged really well. How close is uh, Mr. Adderley to coming back? You know, he's, uh, I don't want to put a timetable on it, but he's working hard every single day, I can tell you that. And he's trying to get back on the field to be with his teammates. Is it frustrating at all? Because for a rookie, these are pretty valuable moments these, early on in, in your career and training camp. You know, you have to be patient with those soft tissue injuries. But, yeah, I would like to see him out here. You know, this training camp is very valuable. Do you expect him to, to play at some point this preseason? If he's ready, yeah. Any update on all? Uh, you know, Chenna had a pretty good day today. You know, I, I, I like the way he worked uh, last Monday night and, and today. I think these joint practices, you know, uh, some of these guys, they see it as an opportunity, and he's taking advantage of it. You know, he can play DN, he can play outside linebacker, and he's playing on special teams. Well, you know, I, I, like, I like getting the starters a lot of reps in these scrimmages because it's a controlled environment. And uh, I think you do see a lot more teams doing this. It, it could be, you know, who knows? It could be. A lot, a lot of teams, I mean, we did this back when I was playing, back in the early 90s, you know, so uh, it's been around for a while, but I, I like the way our players are handling the situation. Any update at all with uh, Melvin Gordon? Excuse me? Oh, yeah, defense, I thought the defense, uh, I love the way they ended the two-minute period today. You know, we talk about situational football. It's an interception by DJ, probably would have scored a touchdown. Any update on uh, Melvin Gordon? Uh, I haven't spoken with Melvin in a while, so, no. Knowing him the way you do, you know, I'm sure he's working out down like the San Diego area or something. I mean, is, is there any doubt that he's doing what he has to do? Oh, no question. Time? He's a pro's pro. Uh, whenever he reports, I'm sure he'll be ready. Is it one of those issues with, with him, like given that he's familiar with the system and stuff, that you can just plug him in, or is there, are there drawbacks to him not being here? Well, there's always drawbacks when you're not here practicing with your teammates and getting better each and every day, so... Uh, I would expect him to walk right back in and pick up where he left off. I don't expect that at all. Do you appreciate like his situation, so to speak? You know, where, where he's kind of coming from, his perspective on this. It's hard for me to appreciate it because I want him here. You know, <laughs> right. when, when, I, when I was in his, when I was in his shoes, I yeah. could appreciate. It, yeah, but uh, well, I guess I mean, are you, yeah. you understand? Yeah, I do understand. I understand. It's, it's a business, and so uh, it'll work itself out. You know what, both. Uh, like I say, in these joint practices, I mean, you get some four-speed reps, man. And then you get in the preseason games, it's, 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 what, it's what we practice for, is go play in the games. So uh, uh, I think they're both really valuable. He has no choice. <laughs> well, we drafted Trey. You know, Trey's been a swing tackle, working right and left, and uh, he's coming along. Uh, I mean, they've taken a lot of reps. They've grown. I mean, their growth this camp 
is uh, you can see it just in the games and the communication with the other linemen, which was important to get them in there. I mean, they played a lot of snaps last week. So I'm going to cut back a little bit this week, but they'll get a few. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's hard to go from inside to outside, but Forrest Lamb played uh, outside in college, and we know that he can, you know, he could go out and, in a pinch, and uh, at some point we're going to start working him outside a little bit. You mentioned things getting a little chippy. Do you almost like that your guys are coming out and competitive and taking this really seriously? Oh, no question. You know, uh, you don't want things to get out of hand, but uh, it's in, football's an emotional game, and guys are real passionate about it, so it doesn't surprise me when it happens. What, what was that again? Have your views of getting a veteran a day off changed at all over the years? It, seemed like, it seems like some teams are kind of approaching that differently and maybe giving older guys more days off or whatever. You know, I, I look at guys, I have a plus nine rule. Guys that are plus nine, you know, they get more days off, they get more time off. We really watch and monitor their reps. They've been in a lot of NFL training camps. Uh, you know, they've proven that they can play on this level, but I tell them like everyone else, at some point you got to show us you still can do it. And uh, they have no problem with that. Well, in the past, we've kind of like uh, admired that and, and let the player come out and practice. But now I think I have to do a better job of protecting the player from himself. No, I think it's more of a personal thing. I think each player, you know, it takes a certain amount of reps to get them ready to go play week one. And uh, we have to figure out what that is for each, each individual. Michael's doing a fine job at right guard. You know, uh, I wouldn't say that he's set uh, because it's a competition going on there. You know, uh, but he's doing a fine job. It's a rotation with Feeney, it's a rotation with Michael. We just, we're still looking, you know. We have two, three more preseason games. We got a lot of time left. We're going to let this thing play itself out. It's, yeah, Denzel's moving around better. First first 10 practices, you know, I couldn't say that, but he's, he's gotten better. Yeah, I think he's getting used to playing with the knee and the knee brace. So uh, I would agree with you on that, yeah. Has Trevor Williams' injury lingered a little bit longer than you originally expected? You know, uh, everybody's different, you know, and so, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's longer than I, than I thought, but like I say, everyone's different. Well, they better be working on the timing of their celebrations, because all they get is 40 seconds, <laughs> and if we get a delay a game because of a celebration, it's going to be a problem.